guys this is Tino back with another video and today in this video I'm going to be flashing the dot OS based on Android 7.1.2 on Redmi Note 3. So without further ado let's flash it. First you need to go to this XDA thread and download the ROM. Then download the G apps. I have used ARM64 7.1 micro gapps for this ROM. Put the ROM and gapps in your phone's storage. All the important links are in the description box below, so do not worry. Before we start, let me tell you, do it on your own risk and have everything backed up. And to do this, you need to have officially unlocked bootloader and TWRP recovery installed. As you can see, I am on LineageOS right now. So let's switch off the phone and boot into TWRP recovery by holding the volume up and the power button together. Once you are booted into TWRP recovery, go to wipe, select advanced wipe, now check cache, Dalvik cache, system and data. Now swipe to wipe. Once done, go back. Go back, hit install, now locate the ROM and the gapps file we downloaded earlier. Now swipe to confirm flash and wait for the time being. Once done, hit reboot system and wait again. It can take more than 10 minutes for the first boot, just don't worry. Now as we are booted into the UI, let me set everything up. In the meantime, let's talk about how is the ROM. Initial impressions, the ROM is pretty smooth and there are little different animations and interfaces. Now let's talk what's working. VOLT is working, camera is working, Wi-Fi fingerprint scanner is working fine too. I have FPC fingerprint scanner by the way, not good X. This ROM has two launchers pre-installed. I will use the launcher launcher because it's closest to the pixel launcher. These are the few apps the ROM comes preloaded with. Almost no bloatware here. I will post about the battery life later on Twitter so you can follow me there if you wanna know about the battery life because it's too early to comment right now. You can take a look in the about section. Here is the launcher launcher settings. You can dig if you want but I won't as of now. This ROM has Magisk support but I don't use that so not necessary for me. From the dot extra settings we can change the app themes to multiple colors. I like this pixel blue one. Now let's talk features. It has too many features and tweaks to talk about. Just watch me going through them one by one. But don't get me wrong, it's not as much as Resurrection Remix or something like that. But this ROM will improve by time thanks to the developer. And notice the toggle switch, it looks a little bit different to me.
and it has the three finger gesture to take screenshot option too. I have found zero bugs as of now. We have an equalizer here. With that, the sound of your headphones or Bluetooth devices can be controlled. Here is an example of Geo 4G Volte working. And the lock screen clock looks dope to me. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. And the wallpaper I am using right now is from the Pixie Wall app. I will give this app link in the description box below. So do check it out. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to the channel right here. And I will see you soon. Bye bye now.